When you hear Jonathan and Melissa leading worship, they do so obviously as a couple with hearts of tested maturity and pure focused worship. Like they're singing for just one, for Jesus. They're an open book and willing teachers. They not only lead worship for Bethel, but co-teach at a retreat center that Jonathan's parents started on 50 odd acres in North Carolina. The discipleship training at A Place for the Heart teaches students how to store their dreams, connecting them with father's identity for them. They also started an arts community called Cageless Birds. Love it. Here are Melissa and Jonathan Helzer. We were just young kids when we first met. Uh, I was 19, she was 18, and we were both going to a ministry school in Charlotte called Morningstar in um, around 96, 97. And I remember walking in class, we had been in school for about two months, hadn't met her yet, came into class and we opened class with worship. Worship's happening. And I remember seeing this girl up front worshiping. And I had never seen anyone worship the way she was worshiping. She, it was like she was a, uh, a candle like moving in the wind, but as the wind blew, she didn't go out. She just got brighter and brighter. And the love, the, the way she was pouring out love on the Lord, I was like, whoever that is, I have to meet her. Because the way she loves God, I just want to know, like, how, you know, who is she? What's it's about. And so after class, uh, a friend of mine introduced me to this girl. And when I looked into her brown eyes, I'm like, that, that was the girl up front worshiping. And it was a really, really fast. We became friends. And then all of a sudden, we realized we were falling into love. And uh, we, we would say to one another, so we, were, we were both really falling in love with the Lord at the same time. And as we're falling in love with each other, it was more than us just falling into love, but it was we were falling into God with one another because He is love. And um, yeah, and we were married like a year and a half after we met, uh, 20 and 21. And um, yes. That's Yeah, that's, that's how we met. That is beautiful. You've got two kids. Mm -hmm. We have a 14 year old son and a 10 year old daughter. Yeah. They come with you on tour occasionally? Sometimes they'll go on trips. They didn't come on this trip, but uh, they've been all over the world with us. Yeah, I was diagnosed with the disease um, at 17 called psoriatic arthritis, which is psoriasis of the skin and psoriasis of the bones. Um, I had a really radical encounter with the Lord at 17. Um, it's a really, really, really long story, but um, was radi radically healed at 17. So that was right before I, I met Jonathan. Um, and then after that, I went back to the school of ministry at the church where I had the encounter with the Lord. And we got married, you know. I mean, we really, like, dated, engaged at 19, married at 20, pregnant 21, baby 22. I mean, it was just like, bam, bam, bam. <laughs> and, uh, and after I had Cadence, our, our firstborn, um, it, everything started coming back pretty intensely. And... Uh, yeah, so that's been a really, a really, really long journey that we have walked through. Um, I think it's hard to put into words. Seasons of suffering, I think you either do, you know, one of two things. You either run from the Lord or you run to the Lord. And sometimes you both, <laughs> hopefully the last thing you do is you land with the Father. Um, but I think our, you know, our whole marriage, even a lot of the music we've written, has been in the, the most desperate times of our life, the most desperate seasons um, of, you know, reaching out beyond circumstance and just hoping to grab hold of the hem of its garment. And I, I, I would definitely say, I mean, we're still in the thick of it now. I believe 100% that the Lord heals. I believe it's as hard to heal. I've encountered it myself personally. Um, one of our, you know, one of our spiritual fathers, he says, the Lord allows in His wisdom what He can easily prevent in His power. And, you know, I I believe that because I've encountered the presence of the Lord so 